Hey everyone, in this next video, what we're gonna do is really open up through the upper body, okay? If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter, which you can find the link below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our webpage, swimmingspecificyoga.com. We're starting this class in our child's pose. So coming on to your knees, top of the feet down, big toes together. Your knees can be together or your knees can be out wide. Fold forward at your hips. Make sure your seat is back towards your heels. Bring your head down to the ground. You can relax the arms out in front of you with the elbows bent, or you can bring the arms to the sides of the body with the hands by the hips. Just gonna stay in a relaxed child's pose for a few breaths. First thing I invite you to do is to move through your body scan, as always, without expectation, without judgment. Simply notice how you feel. Then, we're gonna to start to bring awareness and attention to the breath. Breathing through the nose as long as it's okay for you to. On every inhale, feel the expansion through the front, the sides, and the back of the body. Every exhale, just slowly releasing the air from the body through the nose and allow yourself to let go. So on every inhale, opening. Every exhale, letting go. Feel that expansion, and then feel the release. From here, on your next inhale, walk your fingertips forward. Extend through your arms. Feel that full extension through the arms. The elbows should probably come off of the ground. Press down into the fingertips. Gently feel as if you're drawing the mat back towards the armpits. Feel the shoulder blades just glide down the hips a little. And then return right back to that three-dimensional breath. Every inhale expanding. Every exhale letting go. Allow softness to come through the back. Next inhale. Let's glide forward to our tabletop. So we're coming onto our hands and knees. Fingers spread wide, pointed straight forward. Shoulders over elbows, elbows over wrists, and your knees directly under your hips. We're going to move through the pelvis, the spine, and the shoulders. So on an inhale, lift your tailbone, arch your spine, chest forward, chin forward, and draw your shoulder blades towards your spine. Exhale, drop your tailbone, round your spine, drop your head, press the ground away, feel the shoulder blades come away from the spine. Inhale, lifting tailbone, arching spine, chest forward, chin forward. Exhale, drop your tailbone, round your spine, drop your head, press the ground away. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Reach those fingertips forward. Now as you extend forward here, just lift your stomach up a little bit. Walk your hands, your upper body over to the right. Feel like you're placing your belly button down on your right thigh. And feel length coming through the left side of the body from the hip all the way through to the fingertips. Next, inhale. Walk your hands through center, lifting the belly up and off the thighs. Walk the hands over to the left. Place a belly button onto that left thigh or close to it. Feel that length coming through the right side of the body. And just notice how this side feels different. Inhale. Come back to center. Draw yourself forward to your tabletop, and now we're opening up through the chest and shoulders and coming through our thoracic spine. So we set up strongly in that tabletop. You make sure those hips are stable and even. And then moving through the thoracic spine on your inhale, bring your right arm up and out to the side. Exhale, right arm under left, arm towards the ground, head towards the ground. Inhale, right arm up and out to the side. Exhale. Right arm under left. Inhale, right arm up and out to the side. This time, place your hand either at your ear or the back of the head. Draw that elbow back. Once again, twist through the mid spine. Exhale, square the shoulders, point the elbow down. Inhale, open. Exhale, square. Inhale, open. Extend the arm up. Exhale, bring the hand down. Tabletop. Strong into the right hand. Inhale, left arm up and out to the side. Exhale, left arm under right. Head towards the ground, arm towards the ground. Inhale, up and out. Exhale, left under right. Inhale, 
up and out, this time pause, hand to ear, back behind head, draw that elbow back, open up a little more, exhale, square the shoulders, point the elbow down, inhale, open up, exhale, square the shoulders, inhale, open up, extend the arm up, exhale, come back to your tabletop, and once again, press back to your child's pose, lengthen, reach, Find that stretch through the lats and notice how it might be different than the first time you were here. Staying for two more of those three-dimensional breaths. Every inhale, opening. Every exhale, letting go. Next inhale, we're going to glide all the way forward to a low plank position. So you're on your knees, knees are back behind your hips, your spine's in a diagonal direction. One line strong, core is strong. Elbows tucked in towards ribs, shoulders externally rotated. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the ground. Once you reach the ground, place the top of the feet on the ground, press into the ground so your quads engage and knees lift. Bring your arms back beside your sides, palms down. Hover the nose off the ground so the neck is long. Hover the hands and draw the shoulder blades towards your spine on an inhale. Feel that strength in the upper back and lifting the shoulders away from the ground. Turn your palms to point towards each other and reach your fingers back towards your heels. Exhale, slowly lower. Hands under shoulders. Inhale, tuck toes. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Reach forward just for a breath, and then inhale. We're going to come forward again to that low plank. Exhale, lowering slow. Hands under shoulders, top of the feet down, press into the ground, elbows stay tucked in. Inhale, rise up to a cobra. Raise the chest and chin up and forward, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tuck toes back behind you. This time you're gonna exhale, press back to your tabletop again. Okay, coming to your tabletop, you're gonna keep your hips high here. Okay, you're gonna reach forward, fingertips tented, okay, so you're on top, you're onto your fingertips, but your palms are off the ground. Your hands are wider than shoulder width, and then press your sternum down towards the ground. Okay, depending on your range of motion, your head might reach the ground, might not. See if you can feel this through the front of the chest, front of the shoulders. And then slowly walk the hands in, walk the hands back a little bit to your tabletop, walk your knees back a few inches, tuck your toes under. I'm going to lead you into a down dog, but I have to do it from forearms, okay? So fingers spread wide, pointed straight forward. Make sure you press into the ground with the fingertips, claw the mat with the first knuckle, externally rotate the shoulder so the elbow creases are pointed forward. Then, on your inhale, just lift the knees off the ground a little, okay? Feel the strength now in the core, in the shoulders, and in the feet. Now. First priority, shoulder stability, then lengthen spine. Exhale, press the ground away, hips up and back in a diagonal direction. Keep that shoulder stability. Find that length in the spine. Then maybe lengthen the legs a little bit. Inhale, tiptoes, bend knees. Exhale, walk or jump your feet forward towards your hands, coming into a forward fold. Hands on shins. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down through center. We're going to find a strong standing posture of mountain pose towards the front of our mat. Feet hip distance, pointed straight forward, feeling the big toe mound, little toe mound, inner, outer side of the heel. Hips in the neutral position, core slightly engaged. Collarbones wide, shoulders relaxed, neck long, ears over shoulders. Okay, then from this positioning, we're gonna bring big toes together, legs together. Bring your palms together right in front of your sternum. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, press your palms away, round your spine, drop your head, but keep your core strong and stable. Then inhale, reach towards the sky with the palms. Neutral spine, reach up, reach up, reach up. 
Then exhale, bring the hands back behind the head, keeping those fingers interlaced. Press head into hands, hands into head. Lengthen and strengthen the neck. Draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. Open up through the front of the body. In, lengthen the arms back up. And then exhale, just bring the hands back down through center. Okay, bring the hands onto either side of the hips. On your inhale, you're going to bring that left knee up towards the chest and just slowly step your foot back to a lunging position. Square your hips. Make sure your knee is over ankle, torso over hips, and feel that strength. Then on your inhale, bring your arms up, reach up, sink down. And then exhale, come to a cactus, 90 degrees at the shoulders, 90 degrees at the elbows. Energize through the fingers, feel that opening through the chest and shoulders. Then inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, hands to hips and shift your back foot to a 90 degree angle. So the short side of your mat and the outside of your foot are parallel. Make sure the heel and the arch are in one line. Knee pointed straight forward, you can see your toes. Bring the arms in one line from the shoulders. Look over the fingertips of that right hand. Exhale, bring your right forearm onto your right thigh. Roll your left shoulder open. Okay, start to feel a stretch through the side of the body. Keep the shoulder and chest open. Reach left fingertips forward. Turn the left palm to point towards the ground. Feel connection to the outside of the foot and the ground and feel length coming from there all the way through to the fingertips. Inhale, come back up to that warrior two. Exhale, you're gonna bring your hands down on either side of the front foot. Your back foot stays in the same position. Your right hand stays down. And then you're gonna inhale, bring your left arm up and out to the side. Exhale, come back down with that hand. Turn on to the ball of the back foot. Left hand stays where it is. Inhale, right arm up and out to the side. Exhale, come back down. Back foot meets front, forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down through center. Big toes together, legs together. This time, we're going to inhale, bring the arms up and out to the side and then overhead. Place your left hand onto your spine, hold on to your left elbow with your right hand. Guide that hand down the spine, press your head back into the forearm, stretching into your triceps. And exhale, come over to the right. Feel that length coming through the left side of the body. Inhale, come back to center, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, right hand onto your spine, hold on to the right elbow with the left hand, press the head back. Exhale, come over to the left, feel that stretch through the right side of the body and the triceps on the right arm. Inhale, back to center, extend the arms up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, bring that right knee up. Exhale, slowly step back to a lunge. Squaring those hips, sinking into your lunge, raising your arms up. Exhale to your cactus, open up through the front of the body. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hands to hips. Shift your back foot to that 90 degree angle. Front heel back arch in one line. Feel the strength in the lower body. Lengthen the spine, arms out in one line from the shoulders, looking over the left fingertips. Exhale, left forearm to left thigh. Roll your right shoulder open. Reach forward with your right fingertips, keeping the right shoulder open. Energize through the right leg. Inhale, come back up to your warrior two. Exhale, hands on either side of the front foot. Left hand stays down. Inhale, right arm up and out to the side. Exhale, right hand comes down, turn on to the ball of the right foot. Inhale, left arm up and out to the side. Exhale, hand comes down, back foot meets front, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms up. Exhale, hands come down through center. Find your strong standing posture of mountain pose. And over the next two to three of those three part or three dimensional breaths, what I want you to do is move through another body scan. Really notice how the body feels now. How is the body response done, especially right through that upper body? If you like this video, it'd be great for you to give us a thumbs up below. And if you don't want to miss any of our new content, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out one of our newest videos.